What is up ladies and gentlemen, Tahita Hawkins here. Guys, for today's product review, I will be covering the Beehive plant-based breakfast sausage. So let's dive into it. Quick backstory, you guys. I am probably like the president of Beyonce's Beehive. So when I saw this product, my initial thought was like, wait, did, did, did I not get an email? Cause like I'm on Beyonce's Beehive list. Like what's up? I get emails anytime something new is dropping. Did not see this, like what's this about? And I looked a little closer and I was like, oh, okay. Cause this has no tie to the queen. That's why. But anyway, my interest was peaked at that point. So I was like, let me at least give this a go and see what it's hitting for. I think that this is a decent product. Is it something I would like run home and tell everybody about? Mm, no. Texture wise though, I felt like this was hitting on all of the cylinders. So when you take it out of the packaging, it's super easy to form, it's pliable, really, really easy to like pat it into little patties, you know? The texture was very much giving like straight up sausage patties. Cost wise, these are not chum chain. Came in at $8.29 right at Whole Foods. Speaking of which, outside of finding them there, you can definitely buy them online. Also, they've got a map right on their website that will show you all of the select grocery stores that do carry it. So this is a little bit more of an exclusive product at this point, at least at the time of recording, March of 2024. So cook time, one method here, guys. Throw these guys right in a pre-oiled skillet for about two to three minutes per side. Let me get into my experience, y'all. So I wanted to do like a vegan omelet. So I used my just egg, green pepper, spinach, garlic, tomato, some pre-cooked oyster mushrooms that were adobo season and out of this world. Um, but anyway, whipped up the omelet and boy, oh boy, I felt like that being flavor capital paired with the sausage it kind of made it work and after a couple bites of the sausage and I didn't like love it love it I was like you know what? maybe I'll put a little syrup on it just see what happens boy am I happy I did that because it that did something to the flavor so I was like okay wait there's some potential here guys in closing like I said this wasn't like a product that I felt like oh my god but I felt like it was decent at the very least and so much so that I was like you know what I think I'm definitely gonna try a couple other items from this particular company because I think there might be something that lands a little bit better for my personal liking so Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed.